Hey everybody, welcome back at Dinner with Dave. Today I'm going to teach you which barbecue would probably be best for you. And I think you really should be surprised. Let's go. I really hope you're not so unlucky as me, as I am. I was looking on YouTube, I was looking for movies, I wanted to buy a barbecue, I wanted to buy a bastard because I like the color of it, etc, etc. If you buy a Primo Grill, a bastard, a Kamado Joe, a Big Green Egg, it doesn't matter. In the end, it matters about the size you're gonna need to prepare your food. So I was looking at some videos and I was like, hmm, nice. I want a barbecue, but I don't only want to make meat. I also want to do some vegetables. I also want to do some potatoes or something. Yeah, like that. Complete meals. So searching, 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 went to the store. I was looking and in the, in the beginning, I was like, I'm going to need either a medium or a large. The seller told me you're going to need a large. If you're going to prepare everything you want, you're going to need it. Uh, you're going to need a large. And why is that? Because you're going to need the space. Okay, so I went home to my wife. I want to buy a barbecue. I want to buy a bastard, so let's go to the store. We went to the store. She saw them, both of them, opening up. She was like, that's too much for only a couple pieces of meat. I had told her, no, I want to make complete meals. She was like, but the price difference between the medium and the large is a couple of hundred euros. You should go for the, for the medium. I was like, yeah, but I want to make complete food, complete meals. And she was like, no, I think we should go for that. I told her we're going to regret it. And in the end, yes, we bought the medium. Now, two months later, my wife said, I think we made a mistake we should have bought the large one because we're making complete meals on that. Now, let's first talk about the difference. If we gonna measure the size of the griddle on the small one, it's 34 centimeters. On the medium, it's gonna be 41 centimeters. And on the large, it's 48 centimeters. It doesn't look like a big difference, except if we're gonna lay them on each other. Now, if you're gonna compare all the three at the same time, it doesn't really like it's an awful lot. But in reality, if you're gonna put some steak, potatoes, vegetables on there, it's gonna be a big difference between the first two eight centimeters between the second two cent seven centimeters and in the end 15 centimeters 15 centimeters is almost half a plate and then round now you've seen it's a big difference it doesn't look like much but in the end it's round you have a lot of capacity more to prepare your food now um to have an example, let me show you what you can do on a small, a medium and a large. Just to let you see what the difference is if you're going to prepare complete meals or only meat. Now for today, we're going to work with some nice rib eye. Two pieces because, yeah. We can, I'm a, meat, a meaty kind of guy, so yeah, I like ribeye. Two pieces here, some green asparagus, 500 grams, a normal portion uh, for a normal family. And one potato each, we are with four people, so we've got four potatoes here. Now if we're gonna work on the small one, and we're gonna get the ribeye on there. As you can see, we can work with a direct and indirect side uh, just to explain you if you buy a basset you will get these heat protectors 
it's like half of the grill and with the half of the grill you can make a, a warm and a cold zone so yeah with the media of the small one uh, and the protection shield the heat protector you can do like two ribeyes so two pieces of meat then you can either do like four potatoes and the asparagus ah, next time or later if you're only with two people you can do it it's no big deal if you don't mind to have like half cold potatoes asparagus a little bit a little bit of medium heat no problem so with this one you can do the two temperatures it's not much for two people okay no problem you can do that let's go to the medium on the medium there are two pieces of ribeye we're gonna work with the asparagus not totally fair because I need to get rid of the tips but if you really check how you can lay them down you should be able to get asparagus on there and then for the potatoes you either throw them in the fire in some aluminum foil or you're gonna bake them later or on the side but you can prepare a little bit more here also if you're gonna do some uh, spare ribs it will fit better on the medium now for three four people you can work with this you can even get dividers uh, work a little bit higher and two parts of the barbecue so you can make it yourself a little bit easy with a few adjustments medium okay cool now here we go uh, the large one if we're gonna put the rib eye on the large one on the heat of the fire forget the asparagus nicely on there two zones hot cold no problem so we've got the asparagus on there potatoes it will fit so this is the difference between these three you can make an awful lot more at the same time on the large so if you have a family of four you will get some people to visit you now and then that's coming to eat my advice would be go for the large uh, also if you're gonna make spare ribs or chicken fillet smoked chicken fillet you can make a whole lot more on this barbecue compared to the other ones it doesn't mean it's not okay i mean the small is okay if you only have it for meat i would go for the, for the small if you're only two people and you want a barbecue now and then on the old school style just go to the supermarket buy yourself some small pieces of meat some sausage some burgers that's good enough same thing with a family of four if you do the traditional barbecuing uh, sausages again burgers satay all that kind of stuff this is fine but if you're gonna make complete meals and on a daily basis maybe two three times a week like we do or more i would most definitely go for the large so many more options for that you can prepare so many more uh, food at the same time and you don't have to wait every time to start eating or um, you've got your potatoes and your meat and you're still waiting for the vegetables yeah for me that was a big problem and also something that something else and that's what i'm going to show you right now the other things i really like to cook with is cast iron iron skillets several sizes a big cast iron pan a dutch oven as we call them now let's try uh, what we can do with the uh, cast iron on the barbecues the smallest cast iron skillet i've got easy fit on the small no problem a normal one as you can see it won't fit on the medium small one of course no problem if we're gonna look at a normal skillet it will barely fit now when i was making burgers i also wanted to make some onions onions from the skillet with butter oh man so nice so i was always trying like as you can hear sometimes it's hitting sometimes it's not hitting it fits okay so i need to have it like this make my onions here then i've got like one two three places i've got like three places to make my burgers uh, and my bumps um later i will be, i will be removing my skillet and i will prepare the buns on there 
So yeah, no problem. You can make it. It's no problem. But ideal, no, it's not. Same thing, Dutch oven. Uh, here we go, Dutch oven. On the small, don't even try. If you got a big Dutch oven, it won't fit. With a family of four, you need a decent size of Dutch oven. On the medium, you can do it, but you really have to pay attention to the thermometer. It's sticking out and at the moment you're going to close it. There we go. Now I'm hitting the thermometer. You got to be careful with this. Really careful. You're going to make some damage to your barbecue. If you got a smaller one, no problem. It will easily fit. The large Dutch oven doesn't work. Now, here we go on the large. This is why I bought it. Room enough, I can get two skillets on there. No problem. Room enough for the, for the burgers. If I remove one, the buns, the burgers, it will all fit. So for me, much, much better. Dutch oven wise, not even one big problem, no deal. It will fit easily. So yeah, in the end, my wife agreed and she was like, yeah, you were right, I'm sorry. We should have bought the large one. Price wise, yeah. If you're not barbecuing a lot, three, 400 euros is a lot of money compared to these tubes. If you like to make food, if you like to cook like me, please believe me. Pay the extra premium for the bigger one. You won't regret it. Um, I've got obsessed with it. In the beginning, I told my wife, yeah, let's sell uh, the medium. My wife said, mm, it could be easy to have to, and especially if you want to go do some workshops, because maybe in the future, if I have enough people uh, asking me, I will do some workshops. It's nice to have some extra barbecues to teach people stuff. So yeah, we kept this one. I bought a lot, large one. In the end, I ended up with the VX. So for me, yeah, it's like an obsession. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using them like every day. Uh, what's best for you? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? What, which one should fit you best and why? I want to know. I want to know how you think about this. This was Dave from Dinner with Dave. I hope you have enough information to help you make your decision if you're either, either going to take the large, the medium, or even the small one. Now, this was Dave from Dinner with Dave. See you next time. Bye-bye.